Okay, Jebby, hi, this is Kevin. Um, I thought I'd throw together this really quick video here for you. So I'm inside a matrix, obviously. I just threw a ring rail out here. And in case you don't know, um, I use the F6 command, go in here, add a profile, which um, I already have one out here. So I'm just gonna hit escape. So I have this profile out here. Again, hit the F6 key. I'm just going to do a sweep one, choose this, and I'll change this color. All right, so there's my ring. Now, the next thing I do is go up here and I select an isocurve. So I want to go here, I just want to make sure it snaps to the mid. So here's my object that I had built to sort of make your weave, and again, this isn't perfect. This, I would futz with this a little bit just to make the shape better, but I just threw a couple things out here, a couple curves, and then I extruded them and then cage edit the piece to get the shape I want. When you want to add it to your piece, you click on the curve, hit your F6 key again, select gem on curve. Now, up here in the command line, you have all these different uh, selections. The first thing you want to do, the culet direction, I want to choose the object. So I choose the ring. And then the next thing is I go right here, object type, and I select object. And now it says select the objects that you want. And I want this one and this one. And I hit enter. And here they are. So now they're up here. And you can drag these things around the start and finish position. I'll move this up here. So that everything's up here on top. Now once it's up here, I can change the size if I want to, um, but I want to change actually the spacing. Now you can just bring them in here where you want, and notice these aren't matching because I need to move my start position. And just like so. And then once I have it the way I want, I hit enter. And there you go. And then if you want to add that other element that you have there, I'm just going to select another ISO curve. And I'll just, I don't know, I'll approximate it here. Um, again, I'm going to hit F6 again. Gem on curve. Direction. And I'm just going to select the object. Um, and then up here, the type of object I want to go to browser and in the browser you can add elements and stuff here or I'll make them bigger for you um, but that one that you have on that ring is sort of like this macaroni thing and we'll do the same thing I'll oh, okay change my size there all right bring this all the way around here so let's get our size changed uh, somewhere like right in there maybe change our spacing everything in there nice and tight and I just hit enter once I have it where I want and I can mirror that So there you go, man. Just that quick. And then you'll have it for the next time. Anytime you come in, you can actually save this to the browser if you'd like. Um, anyways, that's how it works.